Italy. Well, there's one stat that always sticks out. One away win for Italy in 13 years since the Six Nations was formed. That's not a great, not a great record. And they've got three away games this year. So that's really the hurdle they've got to overcome. Can they do it away from Rome? Can they somehow find that confidence, find that ability, not just to hold sides, not just to have parity, but go one step further? None of us really thought Italy were going to do much last season. And what happened? They ended up beating France and they ended up beating Ireland. So it is easy to write them off, particularly in Rome, where they're getting stronger. The Olympic Stadium, I think, is, is making a big difference to them. They still have one of the world's greatest players, Sergio Parise, absolutely brilliant number eight, totem for them, a real rallying point. So if he has a good game, Italy go well. It's almost as simple as that. Italy are also trying to play a, a bit of a more expansive game than they did under Nick Mallet. They've sort of realised that actually just keeping the opposition out isn't going to be good enough. They've got to score tries. And I think that realisation has been good for them. It's brought them out of themselves and made them a more positive side mentally. A little bit like France, Italy have always struggled in the goal-kicking department since Diego Dominguez retired. They've got to find a solution to that problem. There are other issues. Fly half two has been an issue. Uh, some of the key players are getting older. <sighs> it's not easy either when your two key sides in the Heineken Cup between them scored four tries and conceded 50 in the pool rounds just gone. That's quite a hurdle to make up. We tend to know a lot about Italy's main players, the Castro Giovanni's, the Paris says. It's time for them to find a couple more heroes for people to latch on to. I always like to look at the scrum half, Eduardo Gori, as a young Tommy Allen, as a fly half who's... Uh, dad, John, played for Scotland and South Africa. He might be one to watch too. I think in another year, Italy might have fancied getting up to mid-table, but one or two of those other rivals are getting better. It's going to be tricky. I think, sadly, it's Italy for the wooden spoon.